Well, April is Donate Life Month. Around the nation, attention turns to organ donation and the critical shortage of organs for those awaiting transplants. So our coverage this week brings you four stories about patients who are waiting right now for the gift of life. We begin with a man who is at the heart of the community in Nassau County. It's lunchtime on a Thursday in Nassau County. That means former commissioner and community mover and shaker Walter Jr. Boatwright is catching up with friends. That's true. That's true. From a distance, you'd assume all is normal in Junior's life, but it's not. He has end-stage heart disease. A while back, he and his wife Tanya asked doctors for answers when he had trouble breathing and unexplained weight gain. What they heard shocked them both. First of all, you need a uh, pacemaker and a defibrillator. And second of all, you're going to have to have a transplant eventually. Doctors at Mayo so Clinic told Junior he had no clogged arteries, no coronary artery disease. His weakened heart muscle and congestive heart failure were the result of a viral infection that nobody can explain. You know, we get up every morning and we're very thankful and blessed that we're able to get up every morning and that he feels good and we can get up and go about our day. So we do one day at a time. As Junior's condition progressed, medications were no longer enough to keep him going. He depends now on an artificial heart. It's called a left ventricular assist device, eight pounds of batteries and controller that he wears in what is ironically a concealed weapon shirt. And what we did was we bought these shirts, concealed weapon shirts, uh, and found them online in the batteries fit inside where you would normally carry a pistol. The device will and keep his heart uh, going while he waits for a new heart. Uh, On the uh, list for a year, there is no way of knowing how much longer it will be. More than 118,000 people are on that transplant list. 4,000 of those are waiting for a heart. Junior keeps going, <laughs> smiling and laughing. I'm just not going to sit on the couch and wait on the phone to ring. You know, I've got to still be active and out doing things. And, and I did and, and have been. I mean, you just can't sit there and go, how long is it going to be? How long is it going to be? You know, and worry yourself to death about it. You just, you're at the mercy of when the right time comes, it'll come. Doctors in the heart transplant program at Mayo Clinic approve. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that is just having a positive attitude, a positive outlook, having a supportive environment, family, friends. Those are the people who are most likely to succeed. And so does the woman who has shared his life for 40 years. He has such a positive outlook and such a positive personality that it keeps him going because he's bound and determined that he's not going to give up and he's not giving in. And so that is what keeps us going every day. That is what keeps us going. Dang, awesome. <laughs> and we have more information on news4jacks.com. Um